What's going on everybody? This is Richard back from Nothing But Nostalgia and just kind of wanted to say it's definitely been a while. Um, I am going to revive the channel. Uh, this is going to be Nothing But Nostalgia 2.0. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen my channel or listened to my podcast yet, uh, I think it's been almost about two years now since I had my last episode. Um, we used to do primarily reviews for retro video games and just kind of, you know, just play them, review them, not too seriously. It was more just for like fun, um, the playability, the control wise, like just like little things like that, just to kind of bring that feeling of nostalgia back to my listeners and the viewers. Uh, but one thing's for sure, you know, life gets in the way and, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but, you know, I'm going to revive the channel. Um, so, like I said, nothing but Nostalgia 2.0. Uh, don't mind me, I'm looking at some notes because uh, I wrote a few things down I wanted to go over. Uh, so one thing's for sure, nothing but Nostalgia 2.0. Uh, definitely going to bring that nostalgia back to my listeners and my viewers still. That's not going to change. Uh, mostly going to focus on some retro video games as well as some modern video games, but I do want to focus more on the older ones. Um, so one of the things I do plan on doing, instead of just mostly focusing on my podcast, if you look us up on YouTube, we did a couple videos, but we weren't like 100% sure how we were going to do the videos or even like the format of the videos. If you wanted to, to stick to podcast or maybe do podcast and video gameplay kind of thing, but you know what? I think I'm mostly going to stick to the gameplay this time around. Uh, I'm mostly going to do some playthroughs. Um, I would do more walkthroughs, but I'm not trying to complete the game at 100% nor play the game on the hardest difficulty. Um, the whole point of this channel is just to basically just, like I said, just give that feeling back of nostalgia to its users and just to kind of just go play these games again, you know, for like the first time in, I don't know, like years. And, you know, I've had a lot of good memories playing some old video games, and I want my listeners and my viewers not only to hear the video games, but even possibly watch and just kind of just showcase them. And even for the little kids nowadays, for them, you know, just to look at the video games to see what it was like to even play video games like that back in the day, um, I definitely just want to give that feeling back, you know, and just kind of, you know, like I said, just showcase them. Um, so new content ideas that I've also had for the channel like I said, we used to just primarily focus on my podcast, and then we tried to do the video format, but back then we weren't really too sure how we were going to do it, or even how, just to even set it up in general. But, you know, just over the break, um, you know, just kind of getting things together, getting our lives together, I kind of realized what we were missing and what we need, and just to get like a basic channel going, and that's about basically what I want to do, you know. I want this channel to get popular just because I want to showcase all these games, and you know, I don't, I'm not yet, I've never really been the person to kind of like talking to a camera or really to like myself, you know, but this is gonna, definitely going to be a new challenge for me and I'm excited for this journey to see where it's gonna, definitely going to take me. Um, one thing is for sure, um, I do kind of want to focus on streaming. Um, I think I'm going to do twitch.tv and just kind of focus on that for a while and then I'm going to rip all these videos and actually kind of splice them into one video so I can post them on YouTube as well as splice out the audio and post them on my podcast again. So if you do follow us on anchor.fm forward slash nothing but nostalgia, um, that's where I post all of my podcasts, but whatever I post, it actually ports them over to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, all like the major platforms. So regardless, whatever you listen to, just look us up on nothing but nostalgia and we should be able to pop up. Um, another thing too, I had a good idea about, um, not really a good idea, but a fun idea of bringing my girlfriend into the mix. Uh, I want her to be a part of this and, you know, yeah, she might not be able to join the majority of the time, but, you know, I want to do gameplay segments where me and her play and just kind of, you know, mess around with some video games, you know, because obviously two different personalities means two different gameplay styles. and. That's going to be kind of, I feel like it'd be fun and interesting to see how that's going to play out, definitely. Um, so as far as my video game reviews, I think I'm still going to do them. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to focus on them, but I know for sure maybe during or after the videos of my playthroughs, I probably am going to do a review of the video game. And just like before, it's not going to be nothing too serious. It's mostly going to be 
you know, how does it stack up to video games nowadays uh, compared to the, when it first came out. Uh, I want to compare like the controls, like, you know, some FPSs are very, very wonky on, you know, the retro video game systems. So just kind of comparing the controls, the graphics, and just kind of just overall playability of the game. Was it fun? You know, even if the game was really bad story-wise or game gameplay-wise, was it a still fun game to even consider playing? Uh, just things like that. And just kind of compare that to the scores that it got when it first came out. Even though those are like legitimate scores, like talking about like gameplay stories, graphics, fight, you know, this, this, and that. You know, I want to compare that to my playability reviews. So that's definitely something that I'm definitely going to throw in the mix. And again, I'm going to rip all these out. Uh, audio is going to be posted on my podcasts. Uh, the videos, I'm going to splice into YouTube videos and probably just do episodes. Um, I am going to do Twitch TV, but I know Mix is starting to get popular. Um, I don't know anything about the streaming services as far as video game wise. So I'm definitely going to venture out and probably just stick to Twitch for now. I, um, I know Mixer is definitely getting really, really popular, right and yeah. I might jump on there every it's once in a while to see months. what's up we know who's doing and then what's going on yeah. with that, but, but for the most part, I'm going to see what I get most that. viewer-wise, and I'm probably just stick to that platform. Um, I'm not here to get super big by any means to get super popular. I just want to get noticed to show off these video games that were you know made back in the day like i said it's just all about just giving that feeling of nostalgia back to my listeners and viewers as far as like video game wise i have 12 consoles to my disposal right now easily over 200 plus video games um i'm mostly going to focus on my retro video games but i definitely am going to throw in my playstation 3 my Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, and even my Switch every once in a while. Um, I know that PS3 and the Xbox 360 are not really considered retro video games, but they're definitely not like really modern anymore. They're not really relevant. They don't make those games anymore. So I'm throwing mostly the older PS3 and 360 games in the mix, um, um, just to kind of, I guess, revive some of those games, like the Resistance games. From PlayStation 3, like not a lot of people know about those games. I mean, definitely game. place, you know, those hardcore PlayStation fans will definitely know. But as far as like Xbox users, we like Nintendo users, it's like kind of bringing that up to you know in this in the limelight. Um, as far as my favorite video games, they're definitely gonna be my racing games. Um, I'm definitely huge on my Need for Speed series, but I'm also gonna throw in like Grid. I'm gonna throw in the Dirt series. I'm gonna throw in. Uh, probably some simulator games, you know, Forza, some Gran Turismo. You know, I love the Need for Speed series. I've always been a big fan of, like, the tuner, muscle car, exotic car scene. So expect a lot of playthroughs of those. Um, and as far as playthroughs, I want to do beginning to end. Um, like I said, I'm nowhere near considered a completionist. I'm not going to go in and play the games with the hardest difficulty, nor get every single collectible item in the game. I just want to play the games just for that nostalgic feeling and just to kind of just run through them, play them, have fun with them, and possibly do a review at the end. Very, very easy stuff. Um, and as far as that, I'm not too sure how I want this format to be. Um, obviously, I'm talking into a webcam with my external microphone, but I mean, as far as like streaming wise, I haven't decided if I want to throw the microphone, or not really the microphone, sorry, the webcam in the mix. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out, but definitely for sure, um, you are going to see my gameplay videos and you're going to hear me on the microphone, but webcam I'm still kind of considering. But to that point, this is going to be nothing but Nostalgia 2.0. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Nothing But Nostalgia podcasts. Expect a lot of gameplay videos, a lot of podcasts, audio, and hopefully... Just giving you guys that feeling of nostalgia back again. Uh, but again, this is Richard from Nothing But Nostalgia, revamping the channel 2.0. Hopefully you guys like the material that's going to come out. And, you know, happy for this new beginning. Here we go. Peace, guys.